What is poppin'? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your boy Mikey J in the mother and place to be. And today we have another Genshin Impact video. Today we're going to be going over one of the events from the 1.3 live stream. And I just want to know why isn't anybody talking about this? This is kind of huge and it's um something that I've been wanting for for a long time. A very, very long time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and wait. Are you not subscribed yet? You should probably hit that subscribe button. I'm going to need you to do that. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into what we're going to be talking about today. So we're going to be talking about the Overflow Ley Line event, and it's the double XP, double Mora event. Now, I'm not sure how it works specifically. All I know is that you get three times a day. So I don't know if it's three times per Ley Line or if it's three times total. So um, just take these numbers with a grain of salt hopefully they won't be um so stingy as to not give us three times per outcrop so let us go ahead and dive into what we know and what the facts are so so you'll need at least 60 resin for each outcrop if they let you do both of them respectively so that means uh 20 uh 60 divided by 20 is three so it's they give you three runs at ar45 you get at least uh you get four to five books per run for the experience so this really constitutes a little bit of RNG. So we're going to have to low ball and high ball the math on this one. So obviously four times three, we're low balling here. Four times three is 12. So that's 12 books on a normal run. You times that by two, you get 24. If you we high ball it, you times that by two. Well, three times five is 15 times by two is 30 for, for the two times runs. For a full day's worth of resin, that will net you 24 to 30 books, which is fine. It's a, it's it's a lot less than what I wanted. I wanted it unlimited, but you know, I, I, I honestly don't know why they didn't go unlimited, but it is what it is. The event's gonna last for 16 days. So with the with that lasting for 16 days, if you do it every day of the event, it's going to net you 384 to 480 books. And the math to get a character from level one to 80 is 249 books. So within, within the span of 16 days, you'll at least be able to get a character from at least from level one to 80. Now, if you happen to get lucky and get over 421, then you'll be able to get them to 90 within those 16 days. Now, obviously, if you're pulling for either Kaching, if you don't have her, or if you're pulling for Zhao, then this is something that you'll definitely want to set aside your resin for, especially, I mean, if, if you've got fragile resin saved up, just pop one of those and just do these ley lines every day. And and that'll get you to the four, 384 to 480 range for your uh, experience books. If they decide to split it up, then I don't have the math for that. I cannot be asked to do the math for that. <laughs> if Mihoyo are sensible people, and they allow us to do both of the ley line crops for three times a day each, then we can go over the Mora real quick. So this one's a little bit cut and dry because we don't have to worry about RNG. We know the numbers already. So they let us do three runs, three times 60,000 is 180. We times that by two, it's 360,000. So we get 360,000 per day. That's really good. That's really, really good, especially for people who don't really have a dedicated day to do you know ley lines and all that kind of stuff that's really good um once you do the entire event after 16 days that will net you five million seven hundred sixty thousand mora um personally i think that's a better deal than getting than getting the uh the books i think they really skimped out us on the skimped us out on the books because it's so it's it's not a lot you don't get a lot i mean you, you you pick your poison there but definitely if you don't want to do the books definitely do the mora and if they let you do both then you know we can do that also while building characters to, to go from level 1 to 80 you need 996,000 mora to get a character from level 1 to 80. now a lot of you guys are are using like level 50 60 70 characters within your game so 
this is going to be impacted a whole lot more and you're going to have a lot more left over by the end if you do this every day so this is the these numbers are just going from one to 80 so nine times out of ten you've already spent half of that money so you'll already have half of that left over so server linings here <laughs> but you'll need to add on another roughly 600 700 thousand to go from 80 to 90 which is kind of ludicrous <laughs> like i said before i do believe the mora is definitely worth more than the books at this point of course like with all the other events we're gonna we're going to get books we're going to get a new battle pass that's going to give us books and mora and all that kind of stuff so throughout i like i say i weigh heavily on the mora because mora can be gone in a day books can't because you have to rely on mora so I say the more is definitely more worth than the books at the end of this event, especially you're getting 5 million. There has never been a point where I got 5 million on the, on the, in this game. Never. I've never reached 5 million. I think at the end of this event, if they do decide to just be complete, <laughs> I don't want to say that word. <laughs> if they decide to be mean and allow us to do one or the other, then I'm going for the Mora instead of the books, because like I say, books are gonna, books will always come in passing. Mora is definitely more finite than the books, in my opinion. But um, do what you wish. Um, I just wanted to touch on this subject because it's very important to me because I love building characters and I would love to see more people be able to build characters and, and do what they want within the game. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are gonna do down in the description below. And also, who are you going to pick when the four star uh, selector comes out? I wanna know. I think I'm gonna go for Beto, because I do wanna build her, but not before Zhao. But uh, that's all the time I got, ladies and gentlemen. It has been your boy, Mikey J, and the mother of the as always, guys. I'll see you in the next Genshin Impact video. Peace.